breathe. I just need to breathe. There's a need for you to breathe. Okay? Remember mindfulness. Pay attention to your breath. Pay attention to your breathing patterns. Take care of yourself. You could be feeling under pressure about something. But good luck is on your side. It could have something to do with money, but it also has something to do with something else. Good luck is on your side. Okay? Whoa. Somebody try to hex or curse you. You know that, Emperor. It's an Emperor that knows that. There could be a leader or a cult that's an Emperor that's power hungry. So you could be tired of this person playing in your energy. One, one, one. This is somebody you connected yourself to. Listen to this, baby. What's up, Bella? What's up? What's happening? Listen to this, Bella. Listen to this. Listen to this. Listen to this crazy dude, man. Listen to this crazy dude, man. I, I I don't understand why this dude think, you know, I'm beneath him and he's just nine years older than me. Like his nine years, he learned something other than stealing, killing, and destroying and messing up people's lives, putting them in slavery. You know what I'm saying? Under We're his in command. the same space. from you is some courage to change course if you don't change course you gonna mess up your destiny if you don't change course you're gonna mess up your future if you don't change course you're not gonna be in the place you need to be to become who I created you to be if you see that's where that nigga got me all messed up right there now, how the hell you created me to be something? Man, if that book was written by you, you know what I'm saying? I'd be shamed to goddamn show my motherfucking face. Excuse my French. I'm sorry, YouTube. You know what I'm saying? Come on, man. Now, that don't even sound like something that, what? You created me to be. You created me to be. Man, I'm not I'm not close to the God. I told you my thoughts, not your thoughts, TD Jakes. What I think damn sure not what you think. You know what I'm saying? I don't sacrifice men, women, children for nothing. You know what I'm saying? Man, come on now. Get off that. You don't change course, you're gonna spend the latter years miserable because you won't own up. You talking to yourself. You talking to yourself. You ain't talking to God. You ain't talking to Adam. Adam not gonna find himself miserable. You thought he was. I could tell you, I would tell you, but YouTube would give me a strike. You know what I'm saying? You need to leave me alone before I get to somebody that can get me through the airwaves to get to everybody other than me being telepathic. Talking to everybody in their mind anyway. So everybody hear what I say anyway. <clears throat> Whether I get paid or not, I'm happy. I'm the air we breathe. You just a beast. You know what I'm saying? Man, don't you ever put yourself up to say you made me. To your mistakes and acknowledge that you were wrong and you won't fix it. See, that's what I'm saying. How in the hell acknowledge you was wrong? Man, you need to, you need to, who wrong, who, who wrong? What I'm going to fuss at Adam and Eve for eating something I told them not to for? What I'm going to do that, what I'm going to condemn them for, for, for life to end up and you let let you mess around there and kill it you know what i'm saying like you like people like you kill jesus you know what i'm saying it was your type of people kill jesus not my type not adam type not god type you know what i'm saying not pick type you know what they say the definition of lunacy is to continue to do the same thing no oh, it's just Lunacy is just being a lunatic, man. You just being a lunatic, man. You being a lunatic, TDJ. You know what I'm saying? A lunatic. Don't say no lunacy. This, this man, lunacy, man. Like, 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 
like saying God is schizophrenic and giving man shut up. You know what I'm saying? Expecting a different result. You can't be the woman you want to be and the woman you used to be at the same time. You cannot be the man you were created to be and the man you used to be at the same time. And you know that now. But the problem is you just can't bring yourself to change course. What you want me to do? Change and be what a devil? Change and be the devil? What you talking about? For me to change and be the devil? If I don't change to be the devil, it's gonna hurt a lot of people, huh? If I don't change to be the devil, man, that that'll be a a cold day in hell, man. Before I change to be any less than God, love. You don't create people, TDJ. You, you you thought you did because you was a big influence on people and millions of people got to hear you. But millions of people got to see that, man, you ain't nothing but a thief. And I can get a strike and I don't get paid shit no way. I can get strikes for telling you you a thief. Then they'll say I'm medically wrong about something and give me a strike for seven days because your ass need to go in the hospital. You know what I'm saying? Man... You ain't, man, I ain't gonna say that. But you damn sure ain't gonna be the next president for the next eight years, TDJ. You might as well go on on him that up. I'm running that myself. You know what I'm saying? I ain't come here for nothing. We ain't come all this long way to die forever. No, man, I ain't come to change to be no damn devil. Talk to somebody People else. People more shit. important than your destiny. You can't even be your best self. You can't do your best work. You can't be who you were created to be because you're stuck in a Nigga, in a situation that you helped to create. Nigga, see, you blaming God. Man, God ain't helped to create no damn situation. You're a damn liar. You're a damn liar. You should have read the book of Enoch, nigga. You ain't read the book of Enoch. You don't know the book of Enoch. You know what I'm saying? You don't know the righteous and who the real righteous are. Because it's not in you to know. You know what I'm saying? Don't you ever sit up there saying you helped, I helped to create create a devil. I ain't helped to create the devil. The that you helped to create and you're guilty. And you feel guilty. And you're overcompensating because you're guilty. And you're in the Man, instead of apologizing, he'd rather talk about his goddamn self. That's that's a damn shame. That's a damn shame, TDJ. You so guilty, you'd rather talk about your goddamn self. Man, man, I'm man, man, I'm through talking to that man. You can somebody connected themselves to an energy vampire. Unbeknownst to you, maybe. Or you are this energy here. Not the vampire one, but you the emperor. Oh. Take it as it resonates, though. Let's see what's going on. But something, luck is on somebody's side here. Also, when it comes to a love spell. I don't know if somebody's trying to do a love spell on somebody. They feel like they're going to get good luck with this. What is this? <sighs> yeah, because this person is in their thoughts about a privileged lady. Somebody really thinking hard. It's like, you could be using the law of attraction. Somebody's trying to use the law of attraction right now. Yeah, somebody want to talk. Somebody talking about you. My ear, my left ear is itching and it's burning. Somebody could be talking a lot about somebody. Somebody might be trying to slander somebody. Somebody might be trying to talk shit about somebody in their left ear. So somebody could be trying to talk. So some something can go left. So somebody you could be trying to manifest something and somebody's doing the opposite of whatever you're trying to do. If that makes sense. I hope so. I think it did. Yeah, this hey, hey, I ain't mean to cut you off, but I had a dream last night or yesterday. Yesterday during the day or last night. I had a dream 
that somebody has stole my truck. And the reason, you know, the way I figured out they stole my truck, I was in a restaurant. It was a restaurant-like area, but it had a big play, uh, uh, like a a stage on one side, you know, like like a basketball, like a high school basketball gym stage, and then it had uh, kind of like when I was wrestling in in um in uh Lake Jackson, you know, at Brazzwood, you know what I'm saying? Or was it, yeah, it was Brazzwood. And uh you know it was it was a, a desk right there. But it was an open area and you was walking in it. You was walking in it and you was six six foot tall. I was six foot tall but I had just been over and and seeing my keys was taken apart. And all my keys was like, you know, three keys here and five keys here. And then my um, electronic, you know, door opener and key was gone. And my truck was gone. And I kind of stood up and tapped you on the, um, on the, uh, chest with my left hand I was like you know I tapped you on your chest with my left hand and um told you trying to tell you I was trying to tell you my truck got stolen I don't know if me and you was together you know what I'm saying I think we was together and we was both teaching and you you know got up to teach and I was sitting down but I was trying to tell you the truck was gone and then the next scene went from me leaving you to my Uncle Richard and his family. And he had some grandkids sitting there with him. You know what I'm saying? His, his daughter, Shonda, and he had his grandkids with him. A couple of grandkids. You know what I'm saying? And you know, I said, damn, man. You know what I'm saying? And I was tripping. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, you know what I'm saying? I, I saw you. I, I, I felt your presence very real. I'm talking about like you be saying that you be in the dream and you, you see these people the certain way. You was very real. I felt the tap, me tapping you. I felt, I felt the, I felt the, 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 the licks. You know what I'm saying? When I was actually, and I had other dreams, you know what I'm saying? And, and I, I don't, I'm not going to say. And if, if, if the people in them dreams having them dreams with me, I mean what I say in my dreams. If I'm if I'm if I'm not arguing and fussing, I'm not arguing and fussing. I, I'm not a fighter. I'm a lover. And love come to overtake hate. And like I say, when I stand on the mountain, I just look down. And the enemy they fight amongst themselves. War about the money and War about what they ain't got and war about what they got. Not wanting to go from the top to the bottom. And they kill themselves within the insides. You know what I'm saying? That's what they do. This could be somebody who's in a relationship with. Somebody's in their thoughts that somebody going to marry this person. Or somebody going to get in a relationship with this person. December 3rd, December 16th could be significant. March 3rd, March, I mean, March 12th, March 16th could be, yeah, could be significant. But somebody is trying to talk somebody down from doing something. From getting on this path with a privileged lady. They concerned that you're going to get great fortune and sudden wealth. Once you're attached to somebody, they got these gifts. Somebody trying to give you a gift to cause you bad health, though. Be careful of this older gentleman. It's an older man in y'all energy. Somebody you might look up to. Could be your father, honey. Or somebody you, like, that you consider a friend. All right? But they're trying to stop something from happening. Okay? You can have Earth in your chart. Earth had the same kind of vibe. They don't want you to have stability. They don't want you to have something because they know how you think. If you don't have this, you want to do that. Okay, kind of energy. All right. What's going on? They think they know I'm going to do that. They, they don't know. When I do this and I do that, if I have to do that, then that's the next. Fire sign. Because this and that, this and that, this and that, this and that, going to have to bow down. Somebody in their thoughts because something went in somebody's favor. Great love. Mm-hmm. We got wisdom. 
somebody know you wants to settle down with somebody. This is wisdom you didn't think somebody knew. Somebody knew that you wanted to have a commitment with someone or wanted to settle down with somebody. Yep. But luck is on your side with this uh, woman. Safety and comfort and security. So something might go, it's going to go in your favor for whoever this woman is. This woman can be very anxious though or is stressed out or is might have anxiety. All right, to get on this adventure here with you, but it's going to improve. So it's not going to be easy. So somebody is not going to be like, oh, yeah, sure. Let's, let's do this right now. Yeah. <laughs> like, no, they're going to need some sort of like convincing. <laughs> okay. Um, I feel like you know that, though. Hi, I'm Alexander Green, Chief Investment Strategist for the Oxford Club. And today, I want to give you the name of 10 stocks that will give your portfolio outstanding profit potential and... Ain't that a usury? You know what I'm saying? Ain't that a usury? You know what I'm saying? I know that ain't on, under my um, description boxes, you know, on my niches. You know what I'm saying? I don't do stocks and bonds, man. I don't do stocks and bonds. Never, never have. You know what I'm saying? That's usury. That's what interest all them taxes all that bullshit that's all that is you may know that fire sign because somebody not going to be they're going to be a little nervous to take this journey with you or to be with you whoever this is resonate for if you are the masculine in this energy okay you can have other masculines in y'all energy that want the same person as well is what I'm picking up on fire sign. So you got to be. Use your discernment. I'm hearing do your due di di blah, 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 blah. Do your due diligence. Okay. That's what I'm hearing. Yep. Redemption. Somebody is praying about this. They like Lord please help me out. Just help me out Lord. <laughs> Help me out, Lord. Okay? Vitality and energy. Give me the strength, Lord. <laughs> for real. It's a fire sign. Like, Lord, give me the strength for it. This is what somebody is saying about you, fire sign. Yeah. Damn. We got newness. Somebody could be 41. <coughs> somebody, um, somebody has gotten all their, they're connected to their inheritance. Somebody could be looking very young. Vibrant. Very energetic. Good news. Somebody is getting right now. All right. They hoping to get good news with this privileged lady. <laughs> What's the message? Holy Spirit, divine spirit. You know I'm gonna uh, do this right quick while old girls uh uh going through that. You know I'm gonna let her get get ahead of me a little bit, and I'm gonna come back and uh. We'll catch up, you know what I'm saying. But then I'm gonna go over here, you know what I'm saying. I'm gonna go. I'm I'm, I'm going out here, man. I'm going back to the to the past, you know what I'm saying. I'm going back to the past, you know what I'm saying. I'm going back to the past, and uh, I'm gonna redo some of the stuff that I did, you know what I'm saying, today, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna redo some of the stuff I did, you know what I'm saying? And Pimp C and uh, Bun B and uh, Mo3 and uh, all y'all boys down there in Florida, you know what I'm saying? Oh, uh, Rick Ross and his gang out there, you know what I'm saying? I ain't talking about no gang, 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 gang. But, you know, his boys, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, I'm on, uh, I'm on, uh, go back over this stuff we had today. The Smart move. Railback has just all power at a better price. That, that erased, Railback, you know just saying? as good, me on only me, better. You know what I'm saying? Messed up my... Messed up my stuff, you know what I'm saying? Had me on mute, you know what I'm saying? I ain't like that, you know what I'm saying? I messed up a whole hour and a half, you know what I'm saying? On mute, you know what I'm saying? 
earplugs, man. Man, too much control over my shit, man. Excuse my French, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry, y'all. Just go, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying, man? I'm just, uh, I'm chilling, man. Shit. You know, I ain't gonna complain. No. I ain't gonna complain, no. That ain't me, <laughs> shit, to complain. Shit, I'm like Mo3 now, you know what I'm saying? But then, you know, ain't about all that shoot 'em up, bang, bang, shit, man, you know. That ain't daddy, man, that ain't daddy. I man, I come to get a hearts back to the fathers, man, and get a kid's hearts back. Get a kid's hearts back to the daddy, and get a father's heart to the kids, man. And then work on the mamas, you know what I'm saying? Cause mama's gonna be mama anyway, you know what I'm saying? Mama gonna be mama anyway, they were straighten up the camera, they telling me to straighten up the camera. But anyway, you know what I'm saying? All right, I got you, all right. But then, you know, I, uh, you know my stage presence, you know, God told me to work on, you know what I'm saying? He told me I need to get a little better, you know, because I'm not convincing enough that I'm really God. And he told me, you know, to tell him like this, man, I ain't no motherfucker that's crazy. I ain't got no schizophrenic. I ain't bipolar. I ain't none of that shit. I don't go down the road talking about turn right, motherfucker, turn left, motherfucker, and turn right and turn it left. I just turn right and I just turn left because I'm a normal motherfucker like everybody else is. But then you can't keep, you know, you know, you know, you know, and then expect me to live. You know what I'm saying? Shit, I'm going to shrivel up. You know what I'm saying? Shit. I can't talk about it. I just let you just guess. Shit. But then, like I say, I'm going to come together with myself. And then I'm gonna give me a doctor that I can talk to, you know what I'm saying? See if I can find somebody to deal with a brother, you know what I'm saying? On a, on a deeper level, you know what I'm saying? Christian doctors, you know what I'm saying? Or something, you know what I'm saying? A medical doctor that love God or something, you know what I'm saying? One that love God, you know what I'm saying? With all his heart, mind, body, soul, and his brothers and sisters. Mom and dad and everybody else, kids and shit. You know what I'm saying? But like I say, man, you know what I'm saying? We good people. Everybody's supposed to be good people, man. That's who we're supposed to be. You know what I'm saying? And daddy try to be good people. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna try to do everything for y'all, all that y'all wanna do. You know what I'm saying? Dirt bikes, that's what me and Tyrone have had. My boy died, man, in 2011. You know what I'm saying? That's Tyrone Lemon, you know what I'm saying? And uh, Tyrone was like two years older than me, you know what I'm saying? And uh, you know, my little brother was two years older than me, younger than me when he died, you know what I'm saying? Then came Jericho, then came Carla, then came Sugar Man. It was four of us, you know what I'm saying? I wish he lived, you know what I'm saying? He, he 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 probably had some of that sickle cell too, and I think everybody started getting scared what of that shit. What if I told shit. you there's a secret but hack to get all your favorite TV and, uh, channels for free and, legally? And people Would like you do it? And this and new groundbreaking gave discovery shot, gives you man, access to your favorite channels and movies for free. It. And greedy that cable companies are trying their hardest to make it illegal in the USA. In the, the gadget provides them, more channels than regular cable with an HD image. By using state-of-the-art the chip technology to catch satellite and, TV you know, signals, kind of it unlocks them. content on all major you know, media platforms, all check, without you know, ever having to pay for years. expensive contracts or monthly subscriptions, making we, uh, traditional cable providers a thing of the past. Come on now. We are 50 years. We 50 years after slavery right now, you know what I'm 57 years old, you know what I'm saying? And then, you know, I got 33 years to go to get to 90, 91, you know what I'm saying? We know a year is a 
thousand years ago, you know what I'm saying? Shit, I can just tack ten on, you know what I'm saying? Ten more generations, you know what I'm saying? Ten of ten, you know what I'm saying? Ten sets of that. Ten sets of that. TJ, I'm going to give you a chance, man. You just live, dog. You just live, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to live. And I'm going to forget. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got to turn. I ain't going to turn to be no devil, man. And run things with money. You know what I'm saying? No, man. I ain't going to do that. I got my own money. You know what I'm saying? I came with talent, TJ. Want that shit? Get my air back. You know what I'm saying? 18 million dollars. That's what it's gonna cost you to breathe. You know what I'm saying? The whole 18 million. They just stole uh, 66 dollars from me today. They just stole 66 dollars from me today. They say they gonna put it back in my pot. I say all right. You know what I'm saying? All right. Stole it from me though, TDJ. Didn't even give me the equipment, trying to get some video equipment, you know what I'm saying? But then now, you know, it's the industry thing now, you know what I'm saying? You got to fit in with the whole thing. But I tell you what, if that dually don't drive up soon, you know what I'm saying? When I order it, you know what I'm saying? I think I might call tomorrow, you know, what I need to do. Just tell the banker what I need to do. You know what I'm saying? I've been working for free for all these years. You showed me that film or that dude. Now, I did, you know, kind of mess up, you know, between 18, 19, and 20 with them car jack. I ain't jack no car daddy. I just stole car stereos, fuzz busters, and seats, and um, one time an alternator and the battery. And now I'm dead. Sorry, Daddy, you know what I'm saying? Rob a piece of man a few times. I'm sorry, Daddy, man. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And I'm bowed down to everybody for that. You know what I'm saying? I didn't never take no money. I ain't never beat him up. You know what I'm saying? I just whoop and took the pieces, you know what I'm saying? And ran home, you know what I'm saying? God forgive me, you know what I'm saying? I'm sorry. I didn't know. I did know what I was doing. Sorry though, I'm still sorry. You know what I'm saying? I was in repentance when I did it. I ain't gonna lie. Shit, every time I did something wrong, I was with God talking to him on the way to do it. <laughs> I ain't lying, I ain't lying. That nigga show sure was a dog. I ain't bullshit when he stole them tires. He was doing that shit then. When me and him stole the seats in the goddamn car. Out the car. And me and that nigga stole the seat out the back seat of the car. I was had acid waste on it. Yeah. <laughs> His brother Peace gave him a car, a cut the Supreme, but it didn't have no back seat, so you know shit, we ride. Three, four deep, me, Troy, Doug, and uh who Mel um not Melanie uh, Me, Troy, Doug, and uh what was 
that girl named Rose with us all the time. Linnell Bell, Linnell Bell. And um, she, we take her to tell people. And uh, Linnell Bell was fine as hell. I don't know why I ain't hit on Linnell Bell. I don't know why. Man, I probably would have been in that country had all that land and shit have been mine that her daddy and them had. Damn, man, Linnell Bell was fine too. And I just, just riding and talking to her like sister and brother. Man, I, I should have been tearing that up. Shit, but I think she had a boyfriend or something, something, something. He sure did, Adam. He sure did. I had a boyfriend. Crazy ass. Now, see, if I knew all this was going to be going down, I'd had my mind set on some more shit. <laughs> Boy, y'all crazy. Y'all crazy. Adam Troy. This, uh, I ain't going to say my name, but then, you know, you, you, you know what? You know business is business, right? Somebody get tired of somebody, you know what I'm saying? So get tired of them, right? But you the kind of nigga a woman just can't get tired of. And they back your ass up in a corner like a cat against the line. Yeah. Them cougars, man. You just don't know them cougars and them pounds. The women panthers, them, ooh, yeah, and them cougars, them white cougars. Don't even trip, don't even trip, don't even trip. All of them got a little evil in them. Do your ass in, you know what I'm saying? But what if they was all on my side? And I just, you know, you know, because, you know, man, I don't do nothing but win. Man. Christmas, at Toys R Us. Man, kids just come through there just walking on Christmas Day. On Christmas Day, that's the day I open it up. I open it up on Christmas Day. Six o'clock in the morning. That's when the doors open. 24 hours. 24 hours until the Christmas holidays over with. Kids get to try everything you want. Traffic controllers are needed. You 
know what I'm saying? To watch the control board without falling asleep on the job. You gotta be careful for all that, you know what I'm saying? And I just might have flunked the test a couple of nights, you know what I'm saying? Fall asleep on the board. Yeah. I might have fell asleep. No, nah, you damn lie. You damn lie. My building didn't fall, catch on fire. I got burned up by that mixture. God damn, don't be trying to lie on me. And then don't try to lie and say I started some shit I created. I ain't creating nothing, TD Jakes. I don't understand why you told me I created some shit. I ain't created nothing. I ain't created nothing. Shit. Like I say, man. You know what I'm saying? Let me go over here, man, and show y'all something, man. Now, this. Me the out, Holy man. Spirit doesn't convict people of things they do that are wrong. We've been taught the Holy Ghost convicts you for doing wrong. The Holy Spirit does not convict people of things they do that are wrong, but of the fact that they are not believing on Jesus. All of your wrongdoing comes as a result of your foundation of unbelief. The Holy Spirit will not convict us about a lack of giving, but he'll convict us about a lack of trusting in Jesus with our money. Because your lack of giving is a result of your lack of trust and unbelief. Now why this motherfucker gonna lie? Just sit up there and lie to y'all like that. Your lack of giving is a lack of unbelief. Man, man, them dudes need to be in jail, y'all. I ain't talking about no, you know, that's, man, that's worse than killing, stealing, and destroying, robbing God like that, man. And come to that every Sunday with that bullshit, man. I ain't lying. Listen to this shit, man. If with your money, that's where that comes from. He goes to the root of the issue. The Holy Spirit doesn't... See, man, that's just lying, man. Let me, let me prove that to y'all, man. Let me prove that to y'all, man. Let me see what Ezekiel say. Let me see what Ezekiel say, man. See what it say. You know what I'm saying? Let me see. Behold, all souls of mine, as the soul of the Father, so also the soul of the Son is mine. All so, all uh, soul. That judge and accuse, sin it, you know what I'm saying? All so that judge and accuse, sin it, it shall die. That spiritually, not just physically, but yes, in turn, you're going to die physically. And ain't nobody going to remember you no more. Because all they going to remember is all the lies and the thievery and all that stuff. But a man be just. And do which is lawful and right. And he have not eaten up on the mountains, neither have lifted up his eyes to idols of the house of Israel, neither have defiled his neighbor's wife, neither have come near a minister's wife, a woman on a pier, and have not oppressed any, but have restored the debtor. His pledge have spoiled none by violence, have given his bread to the hungry, and have covered the naked with, the, with clothes. He that have not given forth upon usury, Creflo Dollar, that's interest, taxes, lending and expecting in return, Neither have he taken any increase that have withdrawn his hand from iniquity. Have executed true judgment between man and man. Have walked in my statutes, my frame, and have kept my judgments to deal truly he is just. He has surely lived. 
he shall surely live, says the Lord God. If he beget a son that is a robber, a shedder of blood, and that do it like to any one of these things, that he do not any of the duties, even have eaten upon the mountains and defiled his neighbor's wife, have oppressed the poor and needy, have spoiled my violence, have not restored the pledge, and have lifted up his eyes to idols, have committed abomination, have given forth usury, interest, loans, taxes, and have taken increase. Shall he live? He shall not live, spiritually or physically. He have done all these abominations. He shall surely die. His blood shall be upon himself. Now, lo, he beget a son, and he seeth all his father's sins which he have done, and consider it, and do not like his daddy did. You know what I'm saying? That have not eaten upon the mountains, neither have lifted up his eyes the idols of his house of Israel, have not defiled his neighbor's wife. Neither have oppressed them, have not withholded the pledge, neither have spoiled by violence, but have given bread to the hungry, and have covered the nakedness with clothing, that have taken off his hand from the poor, that have not received usury nor increase, have executed my judgments have walked in my statue. He shall not die for the iniquity of his father, and he shall surely live. As for his father, because he cruelly oppressed, spoiled his brother by violence, and did not, I mean, did that which is not good among his people, lo, even he, shall die in his iniquity, in his own iniquity. You know what I'm saying? That's not God killing him. He doing it of his own. Yet say you, why do not the son bear the, bear, bear the iniquity of the father? When the son have done which is lawful and right and have and have kept my statutes and have done them, he shall surely live. The soul that sinned it, that judged it and accused, you know, you can't judge, you can't kill, steal, and destroy <clears throat> without first judging and accusing. You gotta judge and accuse first. You know what I'm saying? It shall die because it judged and killed. The son shall not bear the iniquity of the father. Neither shall the father bear the iniquity of the son. You don't sacrifice nobody for nobody. If the son sin, put him in jail. If the father sin, put him in jail. But you don't sacrifice and take a life. Unless God say that, and that, then you ain't God. I'm God. The righteousness of the righteous shall be upon him and the wicked the wickedness of the wicked shall be upon him but if the wicked will turn from his judging and accusing his sins that he have committed and keep all my statutes and do not which is I mean and do that which is lawful and right he shall surely live just like my people. He shall not die. I'm not a God that mess over the wicked like the wicked would mess over me, TDJ. You know what I'm saying? Now, uh, 
each another. All his transgressions that he have committed, they shall not be mentioned to him. I ain't gonna mention your sins after you're born again. In his righteousness that he have done, he shall live. Have I, pl- have I any pleasure at all that the wicked should die, says the Lord God? Not, and not that he should return from his ways and live to the day. Not like you, you trying to kill God. Man, what's wrong with you? But when the righteous turn it from his righteousness and commit iniquity, and do all according to the abominations of the wicked man do it, shall he live? All his righteousness that he have done shall not be mentioned in his trespass that he have trespassed and in his judgment and accusing his sin that he have judged and accused his sin in them shall he die because he turned from his righteousness and became unrighteous Yet you say, the way of the Lord is not equal. Hear now, O house of Israel, is not my way equal? Or not your ways unequal? You know what I'm saying? When a righteous man turneth away from his righteousness and committed iniquity and died in them for his iniquity that hath done shall he die again when the wicked man turneth from his wickedness that he hath committed and doeth which is lawful and right he shall save his soul alive not kill Jesus and hope God keep you and give you eternal life and give you the reward of eternal life for murder <clears throat> because he considered and turn it away from all his transgressions that he committed, not for murder in Jesus, he shall surely live. And he shall not die. You know what I'm saying? But you kill me, or you kill my son, or grandson, or anybody, you shall surely die. Or think about it. Shit. Yet says the house of Israel. You know my grandson, you know, oh, I already said that. The way of the Lord is, I mean, uh, yet you say, O oh, house of Israel, the way of the Lord is not equal. O oh, house of Israel is not my ways equal, or not your ways unequal. Therefore, I will judge you, O oh, house of Israel, everyone according to his way says the Lord God repent and turn yourselves from all your transgressions so iniquity shall be your ruin cast away from you all the transgressions you done whereby you have transgressed and make you a new heart and a new spirit in God for why will you die O house of Israel For I have no pleasure In the death of him that died Says the Lord God Why turn yourself And live you And live you Why turn Wherefore turn yourself Why turn yourself and live You know what I'm saying let me tell you, man, we here, dog. We here, big dog. We here, big dog. We here. We here, big dog. We here. And all I want to read on this is, uh, therefore, if a man be in Christ, he is a new creature. He don't die no more because he is an, as an angel. And ain't nobody married, not woman or man. You know what I'm saying? Because we as angels, we don't die no more. We don't marry nor we giving in the marriage. We girlfriend and boyfriend. And we, you know, if we love each other, we love each other. If we don't, we don't get together. You know what I'm saying?
and try to stay together for the real kids or you know you don't you don't stay together for kids or whatever y'all want to do however y'all want to work it out some of y'all you know what i'm saying you know i ain't getting out the way but you know what i'm saying somebody gotta make some kind of move you know what i'm saying i work for free i just give y'all the atterbury and the heart the, the beat you know what i'm saying beat you know what i'm saying and Creflo Dollar. Let me go to uh let me go to my stuff, you know what I'm saying? Cause you know I'm finna I'm finna tell you what it, what it's all about. You know what I'm saying? That is right there, daddy. That is right there, daddy. Exodus 34. Where it said daddy, where it said, you know it's all, let me see. Exodus 34. Exodus 34. 13, Exodus 34, 13, Exodus 34, 13, I'm just saying a lot of times, cause uh, so I can remember, 34, 13, cause I'll be forgetting stuff real quick, let me see, 34, 13, alright, now, this is what I want to read for y'all, you know what I'm saying, alright, let me see, all right, all right, here we go, here we go. And he said, if if now I have found grace in your sight, O Lord, let my Lord, I pray you, go among us, for it is a stiff-necked people, and pardon our iniquity and our sin, our judging and accusing, and take us for your inheritance. And he said, Behold, I make a new covenant before all your people. I will do marvels such as have not been done in all earth, nor in any nation. All the people among which you are see <coughs> shall see and work of the Lord. For it is a terrible thing that I would do with you. Observe you that I command you this day. Behold, I drive out before you the ammo rights, the can can <coughs> cannon knights, can a uh, knights, cannon knights, cannon knights now, and the hit types. And the parish shites and the HIV ice and the Jesus abusers, which are Jebusites. Jesus abusers are Jebusites. Take heed to yourself, lest you make a covenant with the inhabitants of the land whither you goest, lest it be a snare in the midst of you. Be you, but you shall destroy their altars, break their images, and cut down their groves, and their groves are plantations. And we still got plantations. T.D. Jakes was about to put y'all in another plantation. For you shall worship no other gods, especially not no T.D. Jakes or Creflo Dollar. Now. For the Lord whose name is Jealous is a jealous God, especially by his women. Lest you make a covenant with the inhabitants of the land and they go a whoring after their gods and do sacrifice to their gods and one call you and eat of his sacrifice you know what I'm saying and you take of their daughters to your sons and their daughters go a whoring after their gods and make sons go a whoring after their gods you shall make thee no molten gods. The feast of unleavened bread shall you keep. Seven days 
You shall eat unleavened bread as I command you without no uh, yeast. You know what I'm saying? Without all that stuff that make you rise above God. In the time of the month of Abib, in the month of Abib, you should come out of Egypt. All that opened the matrix is mine. And every firstling among your cattle, whether ox or sheep, that is male, the firstling of your ass, you shall redeem with a lamb. And if you redeem him not, then shall you break his neck. All the firstborn of your sons shall redeem. And none appear before me empty. Meaning, these are rich kids, I got. They should all have their inheritance. They shouldn't come to me empty. They should have plenty of money. You know what I'm saying? The labels are, the harvest is plenty, plentiful, but the labels are few. Six days you shall work, but the seventh day you shall rest. In earing time, in the harvest, you shall rest. When you time for you to hear the word of God, when you go to sleep in earing time, when you time to, you know, hear the word of God and you in the daytime whenever God speaks you know what I'm saying it's like a alarm going off in the plant or at school or something and the intercom go off and the lady that say the same thing over and over come on that's what God is you know what I'm saying it's telepathic ain't no microphone you know what I'm saying and you shall observe the feast of weeks of the fruits of the wheat harvest and feast of in gathering at year's end. Thrice in the year shall, shall all your men children appear before the Lord. Three times a year shall all your men children appear before the Lord your God. God of Israel and Adam is real. For I will cast out nations before you and enlarge your borders. And you know Jabez prayed that prayer enlarge his territory. Well, my welding stencil was B-E-Z and that was Jabez. <clears throat> Neither shall any man desire your land when you shall go up to appear before the Lord three times a year. You know what I'm saying? You shall not offer blood of my sacrifice with living. Neither shall you sacrifice feast of Passover be left to the morning. You see that? You shall not offer no blood. T.D.J. talking about we finna take communion and you hope all the people out here take communion. And I told y'all, you don't eat the blood, you don't take no blood, I don't, I desire mercy and grace and forgiveness instead of a sacrifice. I desire charity instead of a sacrifice. You know what I'm saying? The first lamb or the first fruit of the land. You shall bring to the house of the Lord your God. Ain't no money. You shall not see it the kid in his mother's milk. And the Lord said to Moses, Write you these words, for after the tenor of these words I have made a covenant with you and with Israel. And he was there with the Lord forty days and forty nights. And he did neither eat bread nor drink water. And he wrote upon tablets words of the covenant and the Ten Commandments. And it came to pass. When Moses came down from Mount Sinai with the two tablets in his hand when he came down from the mount face shone while he talked with him and 
heirs and the children of God, the children of Israel saw Moses, and behold, the skin of his face shone like mine. And they were afraid to come near him. And Moses called them, and Aaron and all the rulers, the congregation returned to him. And Moses talked with them, and afterwards the children of Israel came near, and he gave them the commandments that all the Lord had spoken with them at Mount Sinai. Until Moses had done speaking to them, he put a veil on his face. But when Moses went before the Lord to speak to him, he took the veil off. And he came out and he came and spoke to the men of Israel that was in, in command, he commanded. And the children of Israel saw the face of Moses, the skin of Moses' face shone. And he put the veil on his face again until he went to speak with him. You know what I'm saying? But what I was trying to tell y'all, you don't become a usury or nothing like that. We ain't trying to trip, you know what I'm saying? See, you tear down they all to, you know what I'm saying? You know, he even say mess up they names, you know what I'm saying? He did, man, he did. He said all that. There it is again, you know what I'm saying? And then, there, there, there you go again, God, man, come on now. When the Lord your God shall bring you into the land, whither you shall go to possess it and have cast out many nations before you, the Hittites, the Gergesites, the Gergesites, the Gergesites, that's some girls, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and the Amorites, the Amorites, and the Canaan, the Canaan, the Canaanites, the Canaanites, the people who shoot cannons, and the Perishites, the one who perishing, and the HIVites, you know what that is. And those that abuse Jesus, the Jebusites. Seven nations greater and mightier than you. And when the Lord your God shall deliver you before thee, them before you, you shall smite them, utterly destroy them. You shall make no covenant with them nor show no mercy to them. Neither shall you make marriages with them. Your daughter shall not give to his son, and his daughter shall not take to your son. For they will turn away your son from following me. Now that's true, for they will turn away your son from following me, that they may serve other gods like T.D. Jakes now. So will the anger of the Lord be kindled against you and destroy you suddenly. But thus you shall deal, deal with them. You shall destroy their altars, break down their images, and tear down their groves, their, uh, tear down their groves, their, their plantations, like T.D. Jakes tried to build for y'all and burn their graven images with fire. For you are the holy people to the Lord God. The Lord your God have chosen you to be a special people to himself, above all people that are up on the face of the earth. You know what I'm saying? The Lord did set his love upon you. I mean, the Lord did not set his love upon you nor choose you because you was more than any people, for you were fewest of all people. But because God loved you, because he would keep an oath that he sworn to your fathers, have the Lord brought you out by a mighty hand and redeemed you out of the house of the bondsman, out of the hand of Pharaoh, king of Egypt. Now therefore, the Lord God, God, he is God, the faithful God, Adam God, which keepeth the covenant and mercy with them that love him and 
keep his commandments to a thousand generations and repay them that hate them to his to their faith and destroy them and he will not be slack to him that hated him he will repay him to his faith you shall therefore keep the commandments and statutes and judgments which commanded this day to do them wherefore it shall come to pass if you hearken to these judgments and to keep and do them the lord god shall keep unto you the covenant and mercy which he swore to your fathers and he will love you and bless you and multiply you and he will also bless the fruit of your womb and the fruit of your land and your corn and your wine and your oil and you increase your kind in the flocks of your sheep in the land which I swore to your fathers to give you you shall be blessed above all people there shall not be male or female barren among you among your cattle and the Lord shall take away all sickness and will put none evil diseases of Egypt which shall you know it upon you but will lay them upon all that hate you and you shall consume all the people the Lord your God shall deliver you your eyes shall have no pity upon them neither shall you serve their God for that will be a snare to you a net where they're trying to grab you in that suction duct if you shall say in your heart these nations are more than I how can I dispossess if you scheme you shall not be afraid of them you shall be well you shall well remember what the Lord your God did to Pharaoh and to Egypt the great temptations which your eyes saw the signs and the wonders and the mighty hand and the stretched out arm whereby you know what I'm saying the Lord God brought you out so shall the Lord God do to all the people who you are, are afraid moreover the Lord God will send hornet among them until they are left and hide themselves from you and destroy you shall not be frightened of them the Lord God is among you and my a mighty God and terrible the Lord God will put those nations before you little by little I ain't gonna do it in one year cause I don't want the beast to consume you but let me read it and I say that before you little by little that I may not consume them at once lest the beast of the field increase upon you and overtake you and you lose all your people by sickness and disease too fast and then the animals be more than the people you know what I'm saying so you know little by little you know but the Lord God shall deliver them to you and shall destroy them with the mighty destruction until they be destroyed and he shall deliver the kings into your hand and you shall destroy their name from under heaven there shall be no man be able to stand before you until you have destroyed them then the graven image of their God shall burn with fire you shall not desire silver or gold that is on them nor take it to you lest you be snared therein for the abomination of the Lord your God it is abomination to the Lord your God neither shall you bring an abomination into your house lest you be cursed like it but you shall utterly test it and you shall live aboard a cursed thing and 
But then, hey, God ain't got nothing against y'all wanting gold and good looking stuff and all that. That's what we about, man. We, we for pleasure, man. That's a lot of that shit, man. Them rules and regulations. Some of them was of the devil, man. I, I, I ain't had nothing against, you know, pleasure. You know what I'm saying? That's the name of my city. Uncle Peck City is pleasure. You know what I'm saying? But it's pleasure with a G. You know, like pledging something. That's the city he was from. But pleasure is where Adam going. Pleasure. You know what I'm saying? That's where I'm going. You know what I'm saying? Pleasure. You know what I'm saying? And their, their grave and images shall burn with fire. And you shall not desire gold and silver and all that. But then you can, man. Don't, don't worry about that, man. That ain't, that ain't nothing. But don't curse nothing, you know what I'm saying? If you curse something, you're going to receive a curse. You know what I'm saying? But detest, detest, judge, and accuse. You know what I'm saying? Now, First John, that's, this a big one, you know what I'm saying? First John, you know what I'm saying? Where we at, daddy? Where we at? Where we at? Where we at? If we say that we have fellowship with him, Jesus, and walk in darkness, we lie and do not the truth. But if we walk in the light, for he is light, we have fellowship one with another. And I ain't going to say that's true because I don't believe in no sacrifice. I desire mercy, grace, and forgiveness, and charity, servanthood over a blood sacrifice of Jesus Christ. So don't tell me no lie about that cleanse y'all from no sins, not murder. If we say then we don't judge and accuse or have no sin, because that's what sin is, judging and accusing. It's not going to the club and drinking and smoking and doing that kind of stuff. It's really judging and accusing each other and not wanting others to to get farther than you or you gotta be the best up. You know, if it ain't your way, it ain't no way, all that kind of stuff. You know what I'm saying? We deceive ourselves when we like that. We ain't getting no further. And the truth is not in us. You know what I'm saying? To keep us living forever. If we confess our sins, Creflo Dollar, this is the truth here. If we confess our sins, that's true repentance, it's to confess your sins. Say you sorry, confess your sins. He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins. Not because you killed Jesus or murdered Jesus. And you lie and say that each strike you heal from God. And you lie and say it pleased me to bruise him. You know what I'm saying? No, man. If we say we have not judged and accused sin, we make God a liar. And his word, Adam, is not in us. You know what I'm saying? You know, man, it's a lot of stuff, man. You know, we can go on and on and on and on and on, but I ain't gonna mess with y'all too much. Let me see what I had. Oh, that's that one in Samuel. I ain't gonna among thieves who stripped him of his raiment and his clothes and wounded him and departed him and left him half dead. And chance there came a certain priest their way and he saw him and passed by on the other side. I sabotaged you but I could have helped you but I wanted to uh, you to lose your opinion. And likewise the Levite, when he was at the place, came and looked on him and passed by on the other side. 
but a certain Samaritan as journey, as he journeyed, came where he was and he saw him and had compassion on him and went to him and bound up his wounds, pouring all and wine and liquor, cause alcohol <laughs> is the best thing for cuts, wounds, is alcohol. And liquor back then, you know, cowboy days, you get shot, you gotta pull that liquor in there to do that operation, man. Numb that shit. You know what I'm saying? Take the pain and set him on his own beast. Now, not on his heels as an uncomfortable ride, but gave him his own horse to ride and brought him to an end and took care of him. And on the mar, he departed with two pence and gave to the host and said to him, take care of him. And whatsoever you spend it more, whatever you spend extra, when I come back, I will repay you. Which of the three think is used was the na- was doing neighborly to uh, the, the uh, man, to him that fell among thieves. said, the one that showed mercy to him, he said, go and you do likewise. You know what I'm saying? Then he talked about Mary and Martha and them. When Martha, you know, was tripping. You know what I'm saying? Why do you spend money for that which is not bread and labor for that which cannot satisfy? Hearken diligently to to the Lord. Eat that which is good and let your soul delight on its on its uh itself in fatness. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But Creflo, man, that's all I really wanted, man. You know what I'm saying? Then hold every one of you, man, that thirst. Come you to the waters that that have no money. Come you buy and eat. Yeah, come buy wine, milk without money, without price. Why do you spend money for that which is not bread? Why do you labor for that which do not satisfy? Hark and diligently to me, says the Lord, and eat that which is good, and let your soul delight itself in fat. Incline your ear, come to me and hear. Let your soul live, and I will make an everlasting covenant with you. Even the sure mercies of David. Behold, I have given him for a witness of the people, a leader, a commander to the people. Behold, I shall call a nation that knoweth not, you knoweth not, and nations that knew not you shall run to you, because the Lord God and the Holy One is Israel, for he have glorified you. You know, my glory is all on the angels' faces. You know, God ain't never wanted no glory, man. God got the glory on all y'all faces. Lord, why he is found, call you upon him that he is near, that the wicked forsake his way, the unrighteous man his thoughts, let him return to the Lord and he will have mercy upon him, and to our God he will abundantly pardon, for, for my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are my ways your ways. Hide in earth, so are my ways hide in your ways, and my thoughts in your thoughts. For the rain comes down, the snow from heaven, return not hither. Water the earth, make it bring forth and bud, and sow seed for the source, bread to the eater. So shall my word go out of my mouth. Guess what I said, it's going to be seed to the sower, it's going to be bread to the eater, and that word is coming
coming out my mouth going to be seed to the sower. Seed for all y'all teaching the kids and the kids, kids, and kids, kids. And bread to the eater. Them who listening, learning, getting educated, getting that wisdom. You know what I'm saying? So shall it be. The words coming out of my mouth. You're going to taste my words. I'm cooking. <laughs> it shall not return to me void, but shall accomplish that with thy plea. Billions and billions of people all over the world for the rest of the world. And it shall prosper in the thing with it I sin. For, for you shall go out with joy and be led forth with peace. The mountains, the hills shall break forth before you into sin. And all the trees of the field shall clap their hands. Instead of the thorn shall come up the fir tree. Instead of the bride shall come up the myrtle tree. And it shall be for the Lord for an everlasting sign that shall not ever be cut off. You know what I'm saying? And all the trees shall clap their hands. All the trees that we wasn't supposed to listen to the gossip and slander of. Now we know what we need to start talking about healthy stuff so we can live forever. Can't take nothing, can't steal no love, man. You gotta earn that, you know what I'm saying? And the money, hey, we got it all. Just make it and give it away. You know what I'm saying? Driver's license, social security card. Really don't need no bank. But we can use them if y'all just insist on it. There ain't no loans and ain't none of that stuff going on. You know what I'm saying? No IRS, no taxes, no interest, no usury, man. Ain't no more $18 million preaching, $27 million preaching, $130 million preaching. No, man, all that's God money now. All the plants and stuff, all that's God money now. And the children of the God money, man. All the wealth of the wicked has been laid up for the just. Court adjourned. You know what I'm saying? I'm getting out of here, man. And I'm gonna get off this thing. I love y'all, man. I'll talk to y'all later.